hello out there welcome to this tutorial it's on increasing and decreasing functions in this video we'll be looking at graphical method uh, in the graphical method we'll be looking at the graph of a particular function and be able to identify the interval for which the function is increasing at the same time the interval for which the function is decreasing so we start with definition of increasing a function giving the function f of x and the open interval x1 comma x2 if x2 is greater than 1 and f of x2 is greater than f of x1 then f of x is increasing at the interval x1 comma x2 so look at it from this graph uh, we have to identify the minimum point this is the minimum point and uh, we go to the interval here this x2 is greater than x1 as such if you start from the smaller interval the curve here as it is getting towards x2 the curve is going up which means the function is increasing at the interval x1 comma x2 so we look at it from here this is increasing from here it going up up till x2 and since x2 is greater than x1 so that is the graphical demonstration of a increasing function so we go to decreasing function Given the function f of x and the open interval x1 comma x2 if x2 is greater than x1 and f of x2 is less than f of x1 then the function f of x is decreasing at the interval x1 comma x2 so looking at it from the graphical point of view we still identify our minimum point um, from here the minimum value of this interval is x1 if you start from the minimum interval here um, if look at it at this point before we get to x2 the curve is coming down the curve is coming down so the function is decreasing as demonstrated here it is coming down and uh, since x2 is greater than x1 we said within that interval x1 comma x2 the function is decreasing again that is the graphical demonstration of decreasing function now we take some problems now starting from problem one the graph of the function f of x equal to 4x squared minus 8x minus 21 is given below find the range of values of x that is the open interval for which the function is a increasing b decreasing we from the definition of increasing and decreasing function we have to identify the minimum point that is the turning point first identify the turning point and in this graph the turning point here is a minimum point so having identified a minimum point we look at the line of symmetry of the graph so we are looking at this as the turning point x which is the minimum interval from uh, one to the right and uh, if you look at it here this function is increasing since at this interval the curve is going up the curve is going up therefore at this point it is increasing we can verify it from the function within this interval we can take x1 to be 2 and x2 to be equal to 4 so now what we do with this x1 equal to 2 and x2 equal to 4 we find f of 4 and f of 2 if f of 4 is greater than f of 2 then the function at that interval will conclude that it is increasing at that interval 
so we find the f of 2 which is 4 into 2 squared minus 8 into 2 minus 21 this is 16 minus 16 0 this is negative 21 and uh, here again f of 4 is 4 into x squared minus 8 into 4 minus 21 16 times 4 minus 32 minus 21 gives uh, 11 and uh, you can see now that f of 4 is greater than f of 2 by our definition if x2 is greater than x1 which is the case here and f of 4 is greater than f of 2 that means f of x2 is greater than f of x1 so within that interval the function is increasing so we state it that f of 4 is greater than f of 2 therefore the function is increasing this interval here so we can see in this interval it is increasing we conclude f of x is increasing at x greater than 1 and or we can also state it in the open interval as 1 comma positive infinity so we go for the decreasing since at this interval it is increasing it means uh, from here now the minimum here at this point is negative 3 in the same vein the curve is coming down so which means at that interval the function is decreasing so at that interval the function is decreasing we state it as f of x is decreasing at x less than 1 or in an open interval we have it as negative infinity comma 1 that is x is decreasing from 1 0 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 up till negative uh, infinity and that is the end of solution of problem 1 we go to problem 2 for problem 2 the graph of the function f of x is 9 minus x squared is given below find the range of values of x or the open interval for which the function is a increasing and b decreasing so we start from problem 2a um, we have to identify again the turning point at this turning point x is 0 and we look at it to the right and to the left the domain of this function is the entire real numbers so in that case the function the curve here is continuous starting from the curve where x is negative 4 negative 2 the curve is increasing so we don't need to verify this we can see that when we start from the minimum interval there as it is contained here our minimum is negative 4 and our maximum at this point is 0 so if you are moving along the curve up till where you get zero the curve is going up so at that interval from this interval here from zero negative one negative two the, the function is increasing so we state it that f of s is increasing at the point x is less than zero that is from zero we have negative one negative two up till negative infinity and stating it as an open interval we have it as negative infinity comma zero that is the function is increasing from negative one negative two negative three up to negative infinity and uh, that is that for increasing function and um, for the decreasing function it is automatically obvious that from the other point to the right the function is decreasing so we say f of x is decreasing at the point x is greater than 0 so for x is 1 2 3 4 5 up till positive infinity 
the function is decreasing so stating it as an open interval we have it as zero comma positive infinity and that is the end of problem two so we have stated the interval that is the open interval for which the function is increasing and the interval for which it is decreasing so we go to problem three for problem three the graph of the function f of x is equal to x rep minus 3x is given below find the range of values of x that is the open interval for which the function is a increasing b decreasing um we have to identify the turning points the turning point at this point is this and this and where this is the maximum point that is the local maxima this is the minimum point that is the local minima so here we need to get the line of symmetry at this point and the line of symmetry also at this uh, point so we have three intervals from here to infinity and this close interval negative one to one and uh, from one to positive infinity these are the three intervals we have so we are going to identify which of these intervals the function is either increasing or decreasing if we start from here x is negative to here and here x is negative one so since negative one is greater than negative two we start from the minimum interval here if you look at this now the curve is going up so the curve is going up within this interval and in the same way if you look at this interval here it is going up from here so for these two open intervals the function is increasing at those uh, intervals so what we do is we state the intervals so it is increasing at this interval and also increasing at this uh, interval so we now state make a statement f of x is increasing at first x is less than negative one union x is greater than one so alternative way of stating this that's alternatively that is stating it as open interval we have a negative infinity comma negative one union one comma positive infinity so these are the intervals for which the function x cube minus 3x is increasing then we go to decreasing since the function is increasing on this interval and it is also increasing on this interval the remaining interval here the function will be decreasing we make our statement so f of x is decreasing at the point negative one less than x less than positive one an alternative way of stating it is as an open interval is negative one comma positive one and uh, we have succeeded in giving the intervals for which the function is increasing and decreasing this is the end of solution to problem three and invariably this is the end of this tutorial please check the description section of this video for the calculus method of increasing and decreasing functions until we come your way again goodbye